Hi guys, Zach here. Wanted to do something a little bit different today um, and break away from some of the knife vids I've had up and talk a little bit about systems today and more specifically battle belts and how I feel about them, how I use this particular system and so on. Um, love or hate Nut and Fancy and his channel and his political views or whatever you want to do, that's fine. But the man makes a lot of sense when he talks about having systems practicing with them, making sure they work, making sure all the, you could have all of the cool gear and gadgets in the world, but if they don't work, if they don't work the way you intend them to work, then they're next to useless. So whether you're in, you know, whether you own firearms for self-defense, personal defense and so on, or recreational, whether you're military or law enforcement, or maybe if, even if you're just a hunter, you know, you should know how to use the, the gear that you have and make sure that it's all compatible within one system. Okay, so that being said, let's just talk a little bit about the battle belt today um, and how I use it. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what I have on this belt, why I have it on here, and then we'll talk just a little bit more about each thing. So first off, of course, you've got the battle belt itself. And if you're not familiar, a battle belt is basically a wide padded belt with uh, rows of molly webbing on it that you can use to attach molly gear, okay? So in a nutshell, that's what you get. This particular battle belt I have um, is Coyote Brown from High Speed Gear. So HSGI if you're looking, looking them up online. I also have two ta of their Taco mag holders, which will hold, um, so I'm set up to hold two AR style magazines, as well as two um, pistol magazines of various sizes. Uh, I have a Maxpedition TR1 pouch that sits on my back because I don't need to get at it very often. Um, what I keep in that is generally uh, markers if I'm marking targets. I'm a, I'm a big recreational shooter, so if I'm marking targets, uh, a tiny bottle of lube. I've got a, uh, a Gerber Curve, which I use actually for often adjusting um, the windage and elevation on optics. Small first aid kit sunscreen because I am in a, in, a, in a very sunny state, small pocket knife, small set of Allen wrenches, um, small bit of paracord. And so that's, that's basically what I keep in there. Usually I also keep uh, a speed loader for my pistol magazines just because we do shoot so much that uh, it makes things go a lot faster if you have a speed loader. Um, it's not in here today, but usually that rides in here also. So I have everything together. Um, then, next over, for your knife guys, I've got uh, in multi-cam sheath a Spartan Horcus. I'll just hold that up to the camera in S35 VN and OD. Uh, kind of like uh, Killer Elite, who's who I just started following and been watching some of his videos on uh, YouTube. He's a big OD green person, uh, as you can see from some of the stuff in front of you. I got a, I've got a green a OD green Pelican case, OD green rifle. A lot of my stuff is OD, so I can definitely, um, I definitely agree with uh, his love of OD Green. So Spartan Horcus with OD Green scales, uh, black blade, really nice fixed blade. Um, I don't know if I'll do an overview video on it or what, but I really can't say enough about the guys at Spartan. You know, they, I dealt with them directly, and uh, uh, they they shipped the knife right away. You know hand signed my receipt and everything so great little fixed blade to, that I like to keep on my uh, my belt here I always will have a fixed blade on any system that I have I, I pretty much if I'm going into the wilderness or out shooting or you know sometimes even in my EDC I will have a fixed blade on me or nearby um, next over I've got a Leatherman and I carry the, the Leatherman uh, for my rifle setup in the shooting setup, I like to carry the mutt. Um, it has some special tools, punches, and, and stuff that work really well for um, gun maintenance. So I carry a mutt. And then over here, I have a real cheapy universal uh, padded pistol holster. Um, I think it's Voodoo Tactical or something. It's a real piece of junk. I wouldn't recommend uh, buying any of the Voodoo stuff. I just think it's shoddy, real shoddy. Just spend the money up front and get the better gear. Um, you know, nothing, 
Uh, nothing other than trying it out and finding out that it, you know, the molly doesn't line up right. The, the way it's stitched is kind of junky and so on. But anyway, I keep this on here because I like to often use a few different pistols um, that I don't currently have holsters for. So I can, I can keep this here and I can try out different pistols if I'm doing uh, run and gun or, you know, practicing, doing some target shooting. Typically what I like to do is run with a drop leg system. And you guys saw my M&P the other day. Just pull that out. Safety check, it's clear. The magazine. Um, and what I have is just a drop leg Serpa platform. Not the best thing ever. The Serpa, you really can't go wrong with the Serpa, especially if you're running drop leg. It keeps the, keeps the pistol locked in really well. Which brings me to one of the main reasons why I chose this belt, okay? S spend the money up front, get a decent belt. I'm not saying you necessarily need to buy this belt, but spend the money up front and get a decent belt. This belt is uh, customizable in that um, you can choose your own inner belt, which I thought was a huge plus because I already had a riggers belt and I didn't want to have to spend another 80 or 90 bucks to get a new riggers belt um, for this setup. So it, it's all Velcroed together. You could pull it apart. I inserted my own riggers belt, which I already had. Great deal. Secondly, this, this particular belt has a piece of uh, EDPM, um, which is basically rigid plastic, stuffed through it, which keeps the belt itself rigid. So if you've used a battle belt in the past, or if you haven't, what happens is when you start loading it up with gears, it'll start twisting on your body, and it'll pull down your pants, and go up to wrong suspenders, or you know whatever other way you want to go. So that was another bonus to this belt. It has three tight, tight rows of molly webbing. So anything you attach to it, uh, it's almost a double-edged sword. It's a total bitch to attach things to it. But once, once you have um, stuff attached to it, it's not going anywhere. It's staying on there. Uh, third thing was, and I'll see if I can get it to the camera. You'll see here there's a pocket, right? These pockets enable you to um, attach subloads, basically, essentially. Subloads being you know, another uh, magazine holder on one of your legs or a drop leg platform like I have set up here. I have the quick tabs for my Blackhawk setup woven through the pocket right here. So all I need to do is put this belt on, clip my drop leg to it, and I'm good to go and I don't have to deal with hooking, hooking the drop leg and taking up real estate on the Molly here or hooking it to a belt underneath. So really love that about it. Um, I had the, this high speed gear stuff for a couple months now. It is awesome. It is awesome. It is, a, it is a premium price tag for sure, but you knife guys will know, spend the money up front, get the right stuff, get the stuff that is decent quality, otherwise you're gonna regret it and you're gonna end up spending more money down the road to, to upgrade your junky stuff, okay? So that's basically what I have there, and that's um, how I like to have mine set up. I like to keep it somewhat minimal. Um, I know it looks like there's a lot on here, but this is a fairly minimal loadout, I would say. I like to, personally, I like to keep, I'm a righty, I like to keep my right side somewhat clear. Normally, I would not have this, this uh, universal pistol holster on this side. Um, so when I swing my rifle around, you've got to be thinking about these things when you're putting together a system. So when I use my sling on my rifle to swing it around to my back, it doesn't get all bound up on all the shit on the right side of my belt. It also keeps me clear to reaching my drop leg and getting to my uh, sidearm. So that's just a little thought that's gone through. And this has all come from setting these things up wrong countless times. Okay, I've had different battle belts before. I've just decided to pack as much shit on them as possible. And you really, you really don't need it. You, you need just what you think you're going to need. Um, Definitely be prepared, but don't overload the belt. You know, you can, you can carry a backpack if you were needing a bug out or whatever you're needing to do. You could carry a backpack and have some of your items that you don't need to reach right away on the backpack. And keep the belt a little bit lighter. All right. So now I showed you this. This is um, something I haven't really tried out yet. It's from High Speed Gear and Chris Cost. It's a collaboration. It's a drop leg platform that you can run off of just any, any belt. You just hook these loops through on your normal belt. 
and clip this around your leg and you get uh, two AR style mags, two pistol mags or three and a, you know, an extra pouch here in the middle. So I, I haven't really used this yet, I'm not going to talk about it. Same great high, high uh, quality construction as the other high speed gear stuff, we've got this one here, Multicam. But after I put this to use and see how I'm going to use it, I might talk about that a little more. Back onto the high speed gear, um, something I didn't touch on, their mag holders, their mag pouches. Um, two things for me that are awesome about them. One, I hate mag pouches that have a Velcro flap that goes over to keep the mags in. I just really despise that for, um, for quick mag changes or, you know, you get all tied up in the, in the Velcro. Um, two, well I guess it's really three things, not two. Two, um, they're double stack, which you, there's a bunch of manufacturers out there that do the double stack. You can do um, two AR mags or AR mag pistol mag, you know, there's a bunch of different combinations out there. They do um, the stack, which I enjoy because I like having both rifle and pistol mags on the same side. And three, they're fully adjustable. They have a little nylon pull cord here and you can adjust these things to fit any size pistol mags and um, just about any size. I think if you go to their website they'll tell you all, all what you can fit in it. Um, rifle magazines, AR mags of course, uh, AK mags which are usually a real pain in the ass to, to put um, into a pouch because of the way they're shaped. 308 mags, uh, all, all kinds of different ones will fit in there and just really good construction. Um, Again, can't say enough good things about it. So, just uh, just in closing here, just to give you guys a little bit of uh, gear porn, since I am a gear file, I'll go ahead and show my rifle. Um, I've got a uh, Viking VTAC sling, which is pretty pretty okay sling so far. I haven't had too much issues with it. Of course, I've got myself a Harris bipod with uh, with a Larue quick detach mount here. Uh, just touch on that real quickly. Uh, having a bipod to zero your gun or if you're going to be doing some prone shooting is a great thing but being able to take it on and off really quick you, you need to be able to it's really too heavy I, in my opinion to leave it on the front of your your, uh, your rifle just to carry around at all times so to my pride and joy my rifle rig here you guess what it is obviously it's an AR type platform uh, it is a LWRC M6 SPR with 16 inch barrel. Um, you can see here, I'll hold it up to the camera, how I have it set up. I've got a, the, the SPR which has a fluted barrel. I've got a uh, PWS compensator which really, really, really helps uh, get you back on target for your second and third shots. LaRue short grip with quick detach. And then, of course, there, a whole nother rifle sitting right on top there. And what I mean by is cost. I've got a Trigicon, a four-power Trigicon ACOG with a RMR red dot sitting on top there. This thing is sweet, okay? Rifle guys out there, uh, I know this thing is like the steepest price point you're going to find for a lot of optics that you're going to want to do unless you're doing real high-powered scopes. It is worth it. It is worth it. Absolutely love this Trigicon. We'll never sell it. So that's my that's my basic rifle setup. That's how I like to run mine. Um, I've got my four power and my Trigicon um, with my RMR on top to give me my red dot for uh, for closer targets. So that's about it. Um, this has been totally different. I've knocked the camera off this table about seven times already, and this is like the tenth take um, that I've done. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to know any more about any of the gear or any of the reasons why I carry any of this stuff, um, just hit me up. Let me know. Um, just want to send a shout out to uh, Killer Elite, to Vance, um, Tough Thumbs, Juju, you know, all of you guys, Cutlery Lover, all of you guys out there that kind of inspired me to start making my own vids. I've been uh, lurking around YouTube for a long time and finally decided to, to do my own thing. So. My hat's off to all of you guys who have uh, blazed the trail uh, before me. And, uh, you know, so have a good one, guys. See ya.